Welcome to episode 13 of our series ETS for Beginners. In this episode, we will explore how to add the first KNX devices to the cabinet. We are in the first tab and have one panel open here. It is the Buildings panel. In the Search folders, we see the main cabinet. Now let us add some devices. First, I search for the order number of my power supply. Then, I can drag it into my cabinet. Let us add another device, a KNX Secure Capable IP Interface. We can use this to connect to the KNX bus. Because this is a secure device, I shall now set a project password. It is recommended to set a strong password. As with any KNX Secure Capable device, I can add the device certificate that is shipped with the KNX device. ETS detects the QR code automatically. Let us add one more KNX device, this time a KNX switch actuator, following the same procedure. That's it for devices in the cabinet. I close the catalog panel. Looking at the cabinet, I can see the three KNX devices. The IP interface and the switch actuator get assigned an individual address automatically. The blue shield indicates KNX Secure is active. On the IP interface, I can see eight additional addresses. These are for IP tunneling interfaces, and I can associate group addresses here. Okay, that's all for today. Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for upcoming videos. You can download the current state of our project from the link in the description below.